Hey Capricorn, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for stopping by. Capricorn, this is your February Twin Flame reading. So we want to check in and see what your Twin Flame is up to. Okay, how they feeling, what they doing, where they going, you know, who they with. Um, whether your person is with you right now or not, we're going to figure out like what they're up to. Okay, what they're thinking about. Again, how they're feeling, things of that nature. So what do we have for Capricorn Spirit? What is their twinsy up to? All right, so we have the hangman. Hmm. So some of you could be dealing with a Pisces, but nevertheless, your twin flame is waiting for something, okay? They're waiting around, not quite ready to, you know, make some type of transition, okay? Or to let go, okay? Retreat uh, in any way. Like they're, 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 they're just sitting around like waiting for the most part, okay? Um, trying to look at things differently. Um, willing to almost sacrifice whatever it is that they have to to keep from, to keep from like moving on. So definitely a lot on your person's mind. So right now they're not really up to anything. Okay, they're just kind of sitting around, hanging around. You know, really trying to figure out you know what to do next. Okay, so I'm not sure what they're waiting for or what they're hanging on to, but that's what they're doing. All right. So we have the King of Swords and we have the Three of Wands. So you could be dealing uh, with an air sign, typically, you know, um, an Aquarius. And I think I mentioned uh, Pisces as well. But this Three of Wands, you know, it tells me that, you know, they're definitely looking at something or trying to look at something for what it is, okay? Because the Three of Wands, you know, talks about, you know, looking at things from a larger picture. And so does the Hangman. So that's just some kawinky dink, right? That we have both of these cards that's kind of sending out the message that your person's trying to see, you know, something clearly here. And who better to call on than the King of Swords, you know, to kind of, you know, embody that energy to kind of clear things up and figure it out because the King of Swords is no dummy, okay? The King of Swords is very intelligent, you know, he's full of information, uh, very disciplined, right, in an approach. And, and there's no, you know, uncertainty, you know, with the with the King or the Queen of Swords, okay? They know what they know, okay? Um, so there's something that your person's trying to be clever about. I'm not going to really call it your person. Let's just say your twin, okay? Your twin is, you know, really trying to figure something out here. Something that is important because this is why they're spending so much time in this three of wands energy, like really trying to figure something out, you know, a choice, okay? Because wands definitely represent, you know, some type of, you know, choice in the matter. It can also represent um, relocation, okay? Receiving uh, support uh, in some way. And some of you could also be dealing with a Leo. Okay, I'm going to throw that out there. So if, you're, if your twin is, is a Leo um, Capricorn, then there may be a message there, uh, you know, in that reading uh, for you guys. But the Three of Wands tells me that, you know, they want to be successful at something this time. That's the reason why they're spending so much time trying to clarify things. So let's see what else we have. Let's try to figure out, like, what they're trying to get clarity on, okay? So it looks like some type of movement, okay? So they're trying to figure out, you know, what, what, what the hell to do, all right? They've gone through some type of lesson here with the Six of Swords, okay? And although they're overcoming it right now, I do feel like it's been some type of struggle for them. They're moving for a lot of you, all right? Because we have this Three of Swords and, I'm sorry, the Six of, uh, Three of Wands and the Six of Swords, you know, both of these cards, you know, speaks of travel, okay? Uh, even things getting better, you know, letting go of something, um, things of that nature. So whatever it is that they're going through, you know, either they're trying to move from it now, they may not be actively, um, like physically moving. So if like if they're relocating, they haven't quite done it yet. I feel like they're still hanging around here with the hangman here, trying to figure out like, you know, which way to let this go. Okay. But they're waiting on something, you know, whatever this transition is that they're trying to make, you know, this, this six of swords, um, energy that they're trying to get into. I feel like there's something 
right now that may be uh, holding them back. Things are transitioning. They're releasing something, but they haven't quite gotten out of it yet. So relationship or situation, I don't really know which one it is, but it's one of the other. So five of swords, definitely going through, you know, some type of uh, loss here. All right, um, your person could be having some type of disagreements, conflict, maybe they feel betrayed or, you know, defeated in some way, shape or form. Maybe that's why they're trying to exit, you know, this situation. Um, okay, um, there's some type of healing I feel that needs to happen here too. Because I feel like your person's just like, I gotta get the fuck out of here, right? By, by all means necessary, something has prompted your person to get up and make some type of relocation or some type of move. So I feel like they may not be happy in the situation. You look at this shit. You got the hangman again. Stop it. Definitely some of you dealing with a Pisces or a water sign. Okay, that's crazy, Capricorn. Like, you gotta be kidding me. So again, like this person is not, <laughs> like they, I don't wanna say they stuck, but are they, right, with this hangman here? You know, whether this is mentally or physically, I feel like the, that in order for your person to leave whatever the situation is behind, so if they're in a relationship, I feel like they want out. And they, they're, they're ready, but there's something that, that's holding them there. There's something they're not willing to let go of, okay? They're not really to sacrifice something here, and they're trying to, you know, look at it for what it is. In other words, like, if they're not leaving a relationship because of money, you know, they're either trying to find a way around it, like they're contemplating, like, how to let this situation go or let this relationship go, okay, without having to make too many sacrifices here. Something's keeping them you know, stuck and they're trying to like, you know, transit around it or try to find, you know, some type of way around it because they don't want to lose. This five of swords tells me that they they don't want to they don't want to lose. All right. They're they're conflicted about something here. Let's see what else. I'm just shaking the table. All right. So we have the six of pentacles again like money, you know, um you know, some type of assistance, like maybe there's something to gain or something to lose. Um, the Six of Pentacles is kind of like that giving and receiving, you know, people being taken care of or needing some type of assistance, you know, in some way to break away from something here. Your person's having some issues. I feel like maybe some arguments or some type of struggles, you know, or some type of competition somewhere uh, in their um, environment, Capricorn, wherever your twin flame is, like, you know, they could be going through you know, some things. It's like eight cards that just fell out. I'm just going to put them back and try this again. All right. So what else for Capricorn? What is going on with Capricorn? The <laughs> fool. Your person wants to be free. They want to get out. They don't know where they're going to go, how they're going to do it. But eventually I feel like they're just going to step out and just go because I feel that the fool in this uh, particular reason, you know, just really doesn't care. You know, it's it's on your person's mind about what sacrifices, you know, they have to make. But I think they realize that they're just going to have to step out there and take their chances. Okay, they're just going to have to risk, you know, something here. So um, they could be in a relationship, but I feel like eventually they're just going to let it go. You know, the fool also speaks of surrender. Okay, so there's something here that they know that they're going to have to risk and they also know that they're going to have to let go of but it is what it is so if they're in a relationship and they want to leave that's kind of how i feel um that's the type of situation i feel like they're in right now kind of like the eight of cups energy where they want to let go you know they want to walk away but they're probably risking losing more than what they really want to okay so this could be um have to do with like money house you know, things like that, that they wouldn't want to lose. Something tangible, all right, is what I'm feeling here. A lot of thoughts, you know, on their mind. A lot of thinking, a lot of uh, contemplation here uh, for them. But they're read, they're about to let it go, right? Uh, for some of them, they just want to be free. They just want to have fun. Yeah, the magician, they want to play, 
right? They want their power back, all right? Uh, wherever they are, you know, has it just hasn't really, I feel like it hasn't been good times, you know, for them. And now they're trying to, you know, manipulate their way out of it, you know, with this magician here, okay? So your person has ties, you know, to someone or something that's the feel is keeping them, you know, kind of trapped, right? Keeping them from moving on, not trapped. I take that back. I do take that back because like, they're not trapped. It's just that it's something that's holding them there. There's something that they're not willing to sacrifice, you know, or let go of at this time. And they're trying to find a way around it with this magician. All right. And look, it's their counterpart because we have the king and we have the queen here. Like your person is like in a situation where he's not even speaking or she's not even speaking, you know, to the other person. Like They're not communicating with each other. You know, they're ignoring each other, um, things of that nature. So definitely uh, for some Capricorn and they, you know, they're, you know, there's an air sign involved in here somewhere and, you know, possibly too. All right. Um, Libra Aquarius, you know, it doesn't matter. Gemini, it doesn't really matter. Um, but some type of air sign here. But we have a king and a queen. So this is what your, your person is doing right now. They're in a relationship, you know, of some kind and they're tired of it. That's the thing. And they're trying to find a way out, but they're just not sure, right? Which way do they go, right? They're still trying to, you know, weigh their options, you know, in this relationship before they step out. They want to get as much as they can, right? They want to cut their losses and whatever that is, whether it's house, money, furniture, because whenever they leave this person, I feel like um, it's not going to be um, just cut and dry like that, you know? So we have healing. So releasing, it says purifying, cleansing. Yeah, I do feel like your person is trying to let something go. Like, look, finality for sure, right? Something that they want to leave in the past, something they want to leave behind. You know, I feel like, you know, your person honestly owes you an apology. I'm not sure where that came from. But, you know, wherever they are, they're leaving. Whether they're coming back to you, that I don't know. But what I can say is, is that, you know, they're not happy where they are. Um, if they do return to you, they got a lot of baggage. I feel like they're not going to be able to come back right away. Maybe one day, right? Someday, somewhere, you know, another time. I don't really know. But they're at their breaking point And they got a lot to fix before they should get into any relationship. New one, old one. You know, it really doesn't matter because right now they're holding on to something. Rather, this is memories of the person, you know, they're clinging on to something here and it's stressing the hell out of them for real, for real, when they know they need to just go ahead um, and let it go. So Capricorn, this is what your twin flame is up to. If you guys are not together at this time, know that whoever they're with, it ain't working out. Okay. And that's about... You know, to come to an end. Yeah, for sure. All right, Capricorn, this is what I have for you. Thank you for watching. Talk to you soon.